We want to welcome our viewers to our program, Living with Love, a broadcast of the Global Mission Ministries. Here before your altar, I am letting go of all I feel, of every Peace and blessing to all of you. I greet you in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I would like to share with you about unseen war. Now, war is a terrible thing. 
Right now, there are so many wars going on. It is terrible. There is a war of ideology, political wars, religious wars, social, civil wars, wars in the families. It is terrible. But there is a war that is visible, but then there is war that is invisible unseen war and that's we war against principality against demonic activity against devilish devices and satanic schemes and I would like to read with you from Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 10 to 12 Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual host of wickedness in the heavenly places. Ephesians 6, 10 to 12. Unseen wars we are going to talk about. Now, millions of people they are going over to astrology. There are so many witch doctors. People are looking for spiritual guidance from all different magicians, witchcraft doctors, parapsychology, is a subject in many universities. Now, I was teaching in a Bible school and one of my students came to me and he was involved into witchcraft with his mother. In the beginning, it was very fascinating. But then all of a sudden, things got very scary. He was so scared, even to the point of death. So many people, they think these things are harmless, will do nothing. But eventually they realize that they are in a war. Because the Bible says, the thief does not come but to steal and to destroy. But Jesus came to give us life and life in abundance. Satan is after your soul. Demons are servant of Satan to destroy God's plan in your life. Now how demons work? First, there is obsession. They cling to people. When there is emptiness, they try to fill that vacuum. Then there is oppression. Demon oppress people. One young man was talking to me one time that while he was using knife in a kitchen, chopping some vegetables, the voice he was hearing, why don't you cut your finger? 
while he was driving the voices he heard why don't you crash into the car in front of you demons oppress people depress people and then there is a possession they completely seize people take hold of people we are in a war demons want to destroy families young people with all different kind of drugs alcohol addiction they want to destroy nations those who have yield themselves to the demonic activities there is a spiritual war that you cannot see but the demons are very active they are after your soul now the bible tells us a miracle in the 5th chapter of mark there was a man who was wild he cried day and night he was naked the blood was oozing from his wounds because he cut himself with stones he was bound with chains but he broke those chains and shackles the demons are capable of entering and controlling people and that's what demons were doing to that man they were controlling him now demons can inflict also physical ailment the bible tells us there was a blind and a mute man he was demon possessed and jesus cast out demons and he was able to see and able to speak we find that in the in the 12th chapter of matthew what's number 22 there was a boy who had epilepsy he was demon possessed he was he cast himself many times in fire arm himself but jesus healed him we find in luke chapter 13 and verse number 16 that there was a woman for 18 years whose back she couldn't raise up for 18 years she was bound of satan but the bible says jesus cast out that demons and she was able to raise her back she was able to stand straight sit straight demons cause physical sicknesses but let me tell you we shouldn't be judgmental if there is a sick person a chronic disease we shouldn't jump to the conclusion that every sickness is because of demons or every sickness is because of sin in the ninth chapter of john a man who was born blind the disciple asked who sin he sin or his parents that's why he was born blind and jesus said neither he nor his parents sin but it happened that in his situation god would be glorified So as I share with you that demons can inflict 
physical sicknesses not every sickness is because of demons now demons continue to wage war against christians against god's people but let me tell you that demons can harass but christian cannot be demon possessed as long as they are in the protection of almighty god as long as they are uncovered by the blood of jesus christ they are safe and where there is a demonic activity at home in the family or any situation we just cast it in jesus precious name we take authority we take authority and we say get out of my house from my family from my child and i come to you in the name of the lord now this poor man was living among the dead he was a living human being but he was living among the dead very pathetic very sad full situation he was in torment many people are living in torment their conscience torment them it's like assault in the wound sprinkle on the wound there are torments of drugs torments of alcohol now when jesus came to that man the demon said why have you come here what i have to do to you why you have come to torment us demons and devil know their destiny that they will be in torment forever and forever they said o oh, son of the living god even demon recognize jesus as the son of god why have you come to torment us what i have to do with you jesus this is the same thing many people are saying today working people might say i'm too busy i have nothing to do with jesus rich people may say religion is for poor people intellectual might say it is for uneducated people religion knowing god knowing jesus is for illiterate people uneducated people radical people may say it's too revolutionary but let me tell you jesus bring the revolution of love if you like it or not some day you will have to bow down before jesus some day you will have to face god's judgment romans chapter 14 verse number 11 says and every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that jesus christ is lord now when jesus came jesus was unafraid jesus was loving jesus said what is your name and the demon said legion it means there were more than 6000 demons in one legion there were in the roman battalion in one legion there were more than 6000 soldiers so it mean there were quite many demons in that man but jesus has authority has power to cast one demon a thousands of demon with the voice of authority Jesus said come out 
and all of a sudden a change took place the stone fell from his hand his wild look changed humanity was restored i just wonder one disciple was wiping his face that bloody face that has so many wounds on his face because he cut himself with stone another disciple clothed him people saw a changed man a transformed you don't need information you need transformation you might have lot of information you might be very intellectual man a man who like to read a woman who like to study you have lot of information but you need transformation the bible says when the people came they saw that man a transformed man he was a different man and the people said to jesus leave our territory depart from us many people hate the name of jesus they don't want jesus is like a drowning man throwing away his life belt it's like a poison man throwing away the antidote a wounded man is tearing open his wound but let me tell you this man found rest and that's why jesus said come unto me who are heavy laden i will give you rest prince of peace jesus the prince of peace can give rest can bring peace in our lives that's why the bible says there is no for no peace for the wicked says the lord the man was naked now he was clothed he found covering jesus gave us the cloth of righteousness the man found proper reasoning he was in his right mind sin destroy our mind we are in a war with you fighting in this war against satan you will lose the battle but i have a good news for you jesus is the champion demons are afraid of Jesus' name. They tremble at the hearing of Jesus' name. There is power in Jesus' name. Come to Jesus Christ and say, I want victory. I'm in a war. I'm losing my battle. I need victory. and Jesus will give you victory it's very simple with the heart we believe with the mouth we confess that Jesus died on the cross and God raised him from the dead and by that confession you receive Jesus in your life you will be saved are you going to say that with me I give my life to Jesus. Jesus, I ask forgiveness. I confess my sin. Yes, say it. Say it loud. 
I come to you. Please forgive me. Give me victory against all demonic activities in my life, in my family, and even in my country. Help me, Lord. In your lovely name I pray. Amen. God bless you. As you have given your life to Jesus Christ, you have a God, you can call him Abba Father. Your name is written in the book of life. He will give you victory over every satanic activity. Victory is your. God will make you a champion. Read God's word. Pray to God in your own language. Listen to good gospel music. Find a Bible-believing church. Write to us. We will send you literature. We will pray with you. God bless you. Always remember that Jesus loves you. He has a great plan for your life. Now I'm going to pray. Stretch your hand. I pray that God would just heal you of any sickness you have. Say that prayer. Jesus, I come to you. You're a mighty God. You're a healer. You does miracle. Deliver me, Lord. And Lord, heal me. I pray, Lord Father, that you heal that person. No matter what the doctor have said, we believe in a great physician called Jesus Christ. Because of your stripes, we are healed. Your name is powerful. In your name we pray. Amen. We are committed to teach and train the locals within the nations of the world and plant new churches. We are committed to help people in need by humanitarian and social work, by supporting widows and orphans, by providing quality education to underprivileged children, and by organizing vocational training programs for women. For prayer requests and information, contact us at gmministry at gmail.com or visit us at www.globalmissionministry.org. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you.